why does my child need the COVID-19 vaccine? Just like adults, children and teenagers deserve protection from the COVID-19 virus and from COVID-19 infection. Just like adults, children and teenagers' lives have been turned upside down during this pandemic. This vaccine for all children who are eligible now or who may be in the future is one step closer to ending this pandemic. How quickly is my child protected after getting the vaccine and how long does protection last? So it takes about two weeks after getting um, the, recommend dose, the recommended doses of the vaccines for your body to build up immunity or protection to protect itself against the COVID-19. Fortunately, just like other vaccines, your child will have built up protection for some time after being fully vaccinated. What if my child has an underlying health issue? Can they get vaccinated? Children with many chronic health conditions and some children with special needs may be at even higher risk for serious infection from the COVID-19 virus. For this reason, it may be even more important for these children to have a chance at getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Does the vaccine have any side effects? COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective, but yes, there are some short-term side effects. These are very similar to the ones that adults experience as well from the COVID-19 vaccine. They include pain at the injection site, a little bit of redness, maybe some swelling, and some other symptoms that may make you feel a little bit crummy, like fever, feeling a little bit fatigued, a headache, and feeling like you have muscle aches. The good news is that these side effects usually only last a few days and get better on their own. There are um, some uh, rare cases where children might develop an allergic reaction to a component of the vaccine. Now, this can happen with any vaccine, but we are also careful in monitoring children for about 15 to 20 minutes after they receive their vaccine so that if there are any allergic reactions, we can treat them immediately. The other side effect is myocarditis or heart inflammation. This is also a very rare side effect. And again, having COVID-19 disease can lead to this heart inflammation that happens more than it does even from the vaccine. So getting COVID-19 disease is more risky than getting the vaccine itself. If you have any questions, please call your pediatrician and you can also look at healthychildren.org for more information about the COVID-19 vaccine and any of these side effects we talked about. Was the making of the COVID-19 vaccine rushed? So this is another great question. Scientists have been studying the coronaviruses and the technology used to make the COVID-19 vaccine for decades before the pandemic. Once it was identified what virus was causing the um, pandemic, it was uh, more straightforward for scientists to make a vaccine because they already knew what they had to do. Every step to ensure both the safety and the efficacy of the vaccine was followed and there were no shortcuts. Because this was a national emergency, an international emergency actually, scientists were working together and sharing a lot of information and were also getting a lot of support to study the vaccine, its efficacy, and get vaccines out to the public. So no, it wasn't really rushed, but there was a great sense of national emergency and worldwide emergency and scientific attention and teamwork related to making this vaccine come to fruition. What safety testing has even been done on the COVID vaccine? And how do we know that it's actually safe long-term? Thousands of adults, children, and teenagers have participated in vaccine trials. And millions of adults and teenagers have already had the COVID-19 vaccine. We know that there is no biological plausible mechanism that the COVID-19 vaccine can interact with your reproductive system. So it would not affect future fertility or puberty and growth. The vaccine works similar to other vaccines in our immune system. It essentially teaches our immune system to recognize um, the COVID-19 virus or the coronavirus that causes infection and makes antibodies to help protect our body if, our, um, if we come into contact with it. So the way that I think about it is the vaccine essentially puts up a wanted poster. Um, and once our body is able to recognize the COVID-19 vaccine, your body essentially eliminates the vaccine. And what's left is protection for your body in those antibodies that remember what the uh, coronavirus looks like, and it is able to essentially attack it and eliminate it from your body, making it less likely to cause infection.
After getting vaccinated, will my child need to wear a mask or quarantine if exposed to someone with the virus? So if your child is fully vaccinated, they will not need to quarantine if they do not have symptoms. However, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all students and staff in schools wear masks. This is for many reasons. Masks are a great way to protect ourselves from emerging virus variants like the Delta virus variant, and it helps protect other people around us who may not be vaccine eligible or not have had a chance to have the vaccine. Does the shot hurt? The shot can hurt a little bit, but what I um, typically compare it to is a little pinch. So it's a little pinch in your arm and it's over before you know it. Um, many people who are giving these shots, actually everyone who is giving this um, shot has a lot of experience and uh, tries to make it as quick and as easy as it can be. I've heard from my patients that it's no different than any other shot that they've had before. And some great tricks, like if you cough right when you get the shot, squeeze someone's hand or squeeze a stuffy, it can help with the pain. Remember, getting the COVID-19 shot is your best shot at staying healthy during this pandemic. How much does it cost to get the vaccine? The COVID-19 vaccine is totally free, no matter what type of insurance you have. And even if you don't have insurance, it's still free. So where can I take my child to get vaccinated? Great question. Um, you can start by calling your pediatrician's office. M uh, many times, pediatrician's offices are offering coronavirus vaccines. If they are not, they will likely have a list of resources and places that you can go to in the community where you can get both the vaccine for yourself and your child. If you can go online, if you go to vaccines.gov and enter your zip code, you will get a list of close places for you to get the COVID-19 vaccine.